This is a response to Miko's pop-up video. Um, I have uh, just a couple. The main one I'd like to show you is a company's a CD. Um, a couple of pop-ups I have that are in my closets and in the closet so I can't dig it out is Jeff Lortel, this was the first one. So I'm sure someone has shown that or is going to. Then there's the Ambrosia that pops up into a pyramid that's in the closet. I have that as well. But one that I keep that's out here is part of my uh, main display collection. There's two. The first one is man, be good to yourself at least once a day. This has been shown before by a few folks. You open it up and it pops up into this big map of whales. Nice. Nice pop-up. The uh, most interesting pop-up that I have to share is for a company's a DVD uh, special package by the Czechoslovakian band Uzme Doma. That's the best way I can say it. Uzme Uz Doma. So I just put it together. Uzme Doma from. Um, the Czech Republic, this band's been around since I think like 1985. Kind of like Egan Bondi's Plastic People of the Universe. This band uh, has quite a history, completely loaded with the big changes in the Czech Republic. When they started out, they had to play illegally and secretly. Many lineup changes. The main person in the band now, Miroslav Vanek, I believe is his name. Uh, was apparently like Vaclav Havel in Poland. Wanek was actually uh, uh, an important figure in the um, democratization, the bringing of democracy to um, the Czech Republic, I understand from reading online. I also had the great opportunity to um, see this band live and meet them. I'll insert a couple of pictures here. And the music is avant-garde and punk at the same time. Um, elements of everything from Frank Zappa to The Fall to uh, The Residents. Matter of fact, these guys were uh, hired by The Residents to be their backing band when they played in Europe on uh, one tour. In particular, it's uh, out on CD. But... They put out a, um, excuse me, this is Ujme Doma, and what this is is a CD, DVD, excuse me, history of the band, basically, in this really cool um, limited edition package. I bought this from the band on tour, and uh, it's a pop-up, I'll show you. So it slides out, out of the box there. First off, just a really, really cool package. I've shown this in a video before, so some of you will remember this. And then, um, is it in Czech or is it in um, English? Okay, so it's in both English and in Czech. And this was uh, published in uh, 1996. And uh, the way to experience the book is you uh, open it and uh, and um, each page is kind of an illustration of a fanciful um, way of describing the band's um, history. As you can see, really pretty neat nice pop-ups. Some of them move. Um, does this one move? Yeah, yeah, this one moves. The instruments move. Okay, so that's so the first page. And then everything is, is um, explained. Over here on the side, 
it's in English and then right below is in Czech. Several pages too, several pages of pop-ups. It's really nice. So that's the first one. Here's the next one. And this one is uh, Veterans and the Meritorious. Really wonderful artwork. Here we have a bit of a bend. Okay, okay. That that easily fixed. Easily fixed. There we go. Really elaborate pop-ups, actually, if you ask me. Nice. And yeah. Haven't looked at this for a while. So yeah, there's just oh my goodness, it's just so 3D. Let me go to the next page. Zluta yellow. Isn't that cool. In the middle of the woods. Just wild. This artwork definitely reminds me of the residents. And these little pop ups. Let, let me fix these here so you can see. It's been closed for so long, but these are supposed to stand up too out and down in front. It's very, very interesting. This one's pretty elaborate. I hope it works. Okay, let me bend these. It's been closed for so long, you know, that um, you kind of have to. Um, this one is uh, red. The last one was yellow, and this one is red. while the color red is sticky it runs on the table <laughs> just really fanciful wild stuff unloved world this is neat I'm glad I'm showing this just look at that Kind of got me a little bit speechless here. Okay, here's a. How does this. Okay, there we go. Blue. Man, that's cool. Very 3D, as you can see. Really elaborate, you know, um, really nicely done. Just wonderful artwork. I understand they've been used, working with the same artist for many years on most all of their album artwork. And I think he uh, also was involved in uh, some of the uh, staging Possibly even some of the musical decisions made. The water sprite. The last couple here. Excuse me. <coughs> Roads. <laughs> Excuse me. Like you're traveling. And then the final one here. Just wild. And then there's the DVD. And what's cool is the uh, <clears throat> band gave you t gave you two DVDs because of the format. This one is not compatible with all uh, U.S. Um, players, so they give you two to make sure. 
But that's Uzme Doma's um, pop-up book. And that's for you, Miko.